Welcome to Tazara, Tanzania Zambia Railway Station in Dar es Salaam. I'm about to embark an epic journey from Dar es Salaam to Kapiri Mposhi in Zambia. The journey uh, is expected to take about uh, 48 hours or three days uh, and uh, uh, that's uh, around 1,860 kilometer from Dar es Salaam to Kapiri Mposhi in Zambia. Yeah, so backstory on the railway, it was built by Tanzania, Zambia and China. Uh, the idea was to eliminate landlocked Zambia economic dependence on Rhodesia, uh, which I think is currently Zimbabwe, and South Africa, which were then ruled by the white minority government. So the railway provided uh, the route for of trade from Zambia Copper Belt to reach the Indian Ocean without, uh, you know, transiting into the white uh, ruled territory. It was built from 1970 to 1975, and at its completion, it was the longest railway in Sub-Saharan Africa. Tazara was the largest single foreign aid by China at the time at the cost of $406 million, equivalent to $3 billion today. All right. The children is at the station waiting to board. All right. Children in the waiting. So to the head to the train. Yeah. We're going to Zambia. Yeah. All right, so it's how it is. See, one, two, three. One, two, three. So, six person per compartment. And they are almost eight cubes in a wagon. Let me count how many, how many cubes we have in one wagon. Oh, yeah, here it says 48. So, one wagon, uh, 48 people. So, there are eight cubes, eight cubes, six each. You know, so like this is a cube number one, bed one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right. And I think we don't mix gender in a cube unless you are family or you came together as a group. Otherwise, men, men, women, women. All right, yes. restaurant. Thank <laughs> you. 
Waiting for our train to depart. There's also this old commuter train which operates here in Dar es Salaam in the morning and in the evening. See now uh, students and people already boarded it, waiting to move around to go to a nearby destination. So this is just a commuter train, Mwakimbe train or commuter train. Alright. The commuter train is departing. Alright. It's departing. Alright. Mwakimbe train to Gongolomboto. See that? Gongolombo drop to pull go here. Ah, Zero is built by the Chinese, the Kuba Express, which is going to take us from here, Dar es Salaam, to Kapiri Posh. So we departed in Dar es Salaam at around 5 p.m. Obviously, of course, we had a, a delay of one hour. Uh, the train was scheduled to depart at 4 p.m., but it departed at 5. Yeah, so I book a second class uh, because uh, when I was booking, which was one day to the uh, travel date, uh, first class was uh, finished. So I booked a second class, which is six people in a room or a cube with six beds. So if you want to uh, travel in a first class, which is four people, then the advice is to book as much early as possible. So inside the Mukuba Express from Dar es Salaam to Kapili Mposhi, there are various entertainment on board, including a bar which plays music, and of course there's a restaurant. So it's never a dull moment. <laughs>
how the washroom looks like. The airplane uh I'm moving. Okay. Hey, I'm on your seat. Renda me, huh? Ah, Renda, come on. Capri Push. Capri Push. When are you going? No, I'm not going. Ah, no, 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 Hello. How are you? Video, you know, the spacing it seems yeah. small, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, we can manage. We can manage. Yeah, it's a king size, room. <laughs> king size. You've got enough space, enough space. King size beds, yeah, king size beds. <laughs> it's better than a bus, though. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. At least you can sit. Yeah, and the thing yeah, is, you room. can move around. People are drinking at the bar. Yeah, people are eating on the, at the restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. You can even take a shower. You saw the showers, huh? Yeah, I saw it. But uh, I was wondering, how do you take a shower? The, the water. Where, where does the water come from? On top. Oh. Yeah. There are tanks on top. Ah, these guys. Are because good. I saw the bucket uh -huh. with water. Uh -huh. So I thought like maybe someone is filling the bucket or the water is automatic. The water is automatic. I think this train has got. Uh, they tank up there or, mm. or down here because oh, okay. when you look at the, with the doors uh, when mm. entering the train yeah there's a water filter nozzle mm. okay. they there. so they refill it in yeah. the big station each station uh. that's why they say that uh, 
you can't use the toilets and the bathroom when the to when the, the when train the has stopped. Has stopped. But but when you use the bathroom or the toilet, does it go down or it goes somewhere? Down, down yeah. on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow you do this, you go there, you see the thing, the runway. Ooh! It goes down. So they, they are cleaning it or what, what do they do? It remains on the tracks. Wow. For all these people? Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> I think there must be a mechanism, otherwise it would have piled up all the no, 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 no. every every it two goes weeks. down. Wow. It goes down. I'll, I'll research in the morning when we you stop. Say, you will see it in the morning. Okay. When you're in the toilet, you need to see it. So, so you are saying, I thought to the, the guys at the, uh, at the bar are mostly Zambian who are drinking and partying, but today you are saying they are not. They are mostly it's the other way around. We're coming from Tanzania, so most of the guys who are that side are Tanzanians. Mm. It's different when you're coming from this side. Yeah. Soon you can find a lot of Zambians. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, when are the two train cross? The, the other one is also coming from there today. Oh? Yeah, I think we'll meet, we'll find it somewhere this side. Uh, it will also embark on yeah, the same Yeah, the date. interchange. Mm. Well, the same, probably it's not better than uh, Nakonde area. Nakonde, okay. Yeah. All right. That's what uh, Big bunker. It's a big bunker. King size bed. King size bed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, no twist and turns. Uh, okay. Who make? Do me, do me. You, you, you. I'm going to see you. Come on, I'm going to see you. Yeah, I'm going to see you. Yeah. Where is this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, you must be tired, yeah. If you're from Uganda. Mm. Oh, you're not straight. No, I came in uh, yesterday. Oh, you came yesterday? So you only... Yeah, so you must be tired. And from Uganda, how many days? Two days. Two days? On a bus. Okay. Stop what is sucking. People are buying stuff. Morning of the next day. As you can tell, this is a slow train. Um, so 6 a.m. of the next day, which is day two, we were at Mlimba, which is around 500 kilometers from Dar es Salaam. Uh, we had stopped there for some time as some passenger disembarked at Mlimba station. All right, the journey continues. As we move along uh, this uh, beautiful landscape with wilderness and uh, bush, you know, you can't imagine how it was to build this railway line in the 70s, you know, by those brave uh, people of uh, Chinese, Tanzania and Zambia. Yeah, as we cruise along, we could see the majestic sunrise from the distance. So here you're going to wash your face and brush teeth, you know, cheeks.
make sure you tune in to part two of this epic journey to Kapirim Poshi.